Japanese power in Igbo culture. Putting on the red cap is not an all common affair in Igbo land, as there are always a select number of individuals who are entitled to wear this special cap, especially with Igbo feather, which in its own right signifies prominence. When one has been conferred a chieftaincy title in Igbo land, it is proper that he must wear the red cap when making appearances in formal traditional events or ceremonies or when he plays a formal traditional role in his family, clan or community. The wearers of the Igbo red cap are usually men who have fulfilled certain obligations and maintained the standards laid down in their various communities. They are recognized in different communities in Igbo land by names such as Inzeis, Ichies, Ozod, Obwefi and others who are not expected to misrepresent, cheat or enroll in any project that can lead the traditional formation into disrepute. In Igbo land, there are some achievements or deeds that will satisfy one to put on the Igbo cap. It is not for everybody. Welcome back from that report. That's quite an interesting one. Well, uh, the Red Cap uh, Chiefs, or the also title as the Ebers call it. Nowadays, you see a lot of people wearing the Red Cap without knowing the meaning or the implications of it. It used to be, or it still is, a very prestigious uh, title to hold in the eastern part of Nigeria. Well, now you know, so you do better. So from now, we are taking you to another exciting segment, which is 10 minutes around the world. Stick around. With the numbers of confirmed COVID-19 cases in many African countries, some healthcare workers across the continent have been at the forefront of the response to the disease. As in other parts of the world, many of these doctors and nurses are confronted with challenge in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. Sweeping the globe while others remain optimistic about the system within which they operate. Dr. Bernard Hamad, president of Ghana Association of Doctors, in residency, Kompo Anakuye, teaching hospital in Kumasi, Ghana, said, with more confirmed cases every day, most of them are apprehensive about the availability of personal protective equipment, PPE. There has been a general shortage of basic protective equipment like face masks, leading to reuse and prolonged use by health staff. He also said they are quite resolute in fulfilling their duties, even in times like this. The government's announcement that health workers will be exempted from paying taxes for three months and a 50% salary rise for those who routinely come into contact with confirmed cases have indeed served 
to boost morale. Our concern regarding equipment also seems to be generating some favorable response from the government, evidenced by their promotion of the local manufacturing of PPE and other logistics to meet our needs in the clinical setting. Dr. Olusegun Olapo, former president of Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors, said, Healthcare workers in Nigeria face challenging working conditions with no life insurance, inadequate pay, and constant turnout. Thus, this pandemic has put more pressure on an already overwhelmed workforce, already struggling with low morale. In Senegal, Professor Mosa Seidi, head of Infectious Disease Department, Hospital Center University, Defan in Dakar, Senegal, said the COVID-19 response unit has been well catered for as the government provides us with enough equipment which they had procured in time. We also received sufficient training and instruction on procedure to follow. Dr. Inbamenda Cameroon said authorities have done very little in ensuring our safety. Many districts in Cameroon have not received sufficient training, educational material, and PPE. Public health officials in Liberia, the government, the government partially considered the safety of health workers, but there has been little commitment to see this through. For example, health workers have not received hazard pay for months, and many are demotivated and even considering strike action or quitting. A junior doctor at Surgical Ward in South Africa said as soon as the country reports its first cases, authorities were quick to provide the hospital with information regarding how the outbreak will be managed. In terms of frontline workers, as soon as you enter the hospital, you are screened and your temperature is checked. If you feel even one of the symptoms, they test you and send you home and our results are fast tracked. So we get them within 24 hours. One big concern is the impact this situation can have on the mental health of frontline staff especially those that have to isolate from family or live alone. Coming to Europe, there is a sense of euphoria on the streets in Belarus. Thousands of people gathered in the capital means to voice their opposition to President Alexander Lukashenko and the violent crackdown in the unleashed against protesters People have the opposition flags white with a red stripe, and they carry flowers and balloons to show that their movement is peaceful. Car horns have turned into an instrument of opposition here. Drivers honk in support of the crowd. People wave back and cheer. We can breathe freedom for the first time in our life. It is an amazing feeling, said a 33 years old Andre. Many feel elated and optimistic that a new beginning is awaiting Belarus after 26 years of President Lukashenko's rule. The violence that was used by the regime before only fueled more demonstrations. The question is how far Mr. Lukashenko is willing to go in order to maintain his grip on power. Most couples dream of traditional romantic white wedding, but one wacky couple literally created their own unique fairy tale wedding. A 30 years old Heidi Koshal and a 42 years old Paul Bellas from Jesse married as Shrek and Princess Fiona from the Shrek animated film, Unique Team, was inspired by their four-year-old son, Leo's love of the film. 
in this edition of Around the World. Our satellite shines at Heidi Koshal and Paul Bella's wedding venue in JC. The JC couple tied the knot dressed as Shrek and Princess Fiona from the DreamWorks animated team. Devoted Paul Bellas painted himself green and warm monster ear and eyebrow. For the movie team, Big Day Bright Heidi Koshal dressed as Shrek fit her Princess Fiona for the couple's wedding, which featured a cast of characters from the animated team. Their four years old son Leo dressed as Donkey, Shrek's best pal, while Heidi's brother John gave her away as Muffin Man from Shrek 2. Other guests turned out as fairy tale characters Snow White, Cinderella, and Belly from Beauty and the Beast. The happy couple tied the knot on Saturday at the rear. At the Radisson, Blue Hotel in St. Helia, JC. Paul, a ground worker, said the couple of JC had been together for five years when Leo's love of Shrek inspired them to finally tie the knot. Paul said Leo was watching his Shrek DVD, which he absolutely loved. And Heidi said, wouldn't it be nice if we had a little Shrek wedding? All the guests embraced the idea and thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Heidi, who made the couple's costume herself, said she was determined to give their 60 guests a memorable time, even if it meant an hour and a half applying green makeup. The Shrek idea basically came about through Leo and it made sense. The bride quoted saying she is not the keenest lady in the world, so she thought she would make a pretty decent Fiona. Paul hasn't quite got Shrek for the face, but she thought he made a really handsome ogre on the day. Registrar Sue Groove said, she had carried out many novelty weddings in her time, but never married to Ogri. So she had to see them before they got their makeup applied, as she can't marry people who aren't recognizable. Heidi actually tied the knot in human form, then returned in green to the reception, mimicking the way Princess Shiona transformed into an ogre at night. The message behind Shrek is that it doesn't matter what you look like or who you are. It's all about true love. I thought it sounded absolutely perfect. That is it on Around the World. Good morning. Welcome back from that report. It's quite a, a very funny one because uh, I think weather should be about a love celebration and all. But to think that people are using cartoon characters uh, to make it a theme for their wedding. For one, uh, I for one am a big fan of the Shrek and Fiona. Uh, I think the one I love about it more is the little donkey. Uh, well, at the end of the day, it's your wedding, it's their wedding. You celebrate it how you want it to be celebrated but being a monster on your wedding i don't know about that all right guys before i introduce my guests i have two of them on today's uh, edition uh let's enjoy this music don't go anywhere we'll be back after this weekend and like I told you I have a wonderful guest in the studio to discuss a very interesting topic with me I told you that it's going to be quite a chat today uh, without wasting any more of your time uh, here is my Sunday welcome Thank you very much. And that uh, beautiful Ulubumi Oki. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, um, like I said, I know a lot of people are, you know, watching and they're like, okay, what are they going to talk about? This is something that's been going on in our society today mm -hmm. because 
people have uh, a lot of women have uh, what I say a misconception of uh, the word um, feminism equality and uh, like I always like to point out equity okay all right um, I have to ask you first are you a feminist Yes, I'm a feminist. Okay, what about you? I'm not a feminist. Okay, all right. Um, okay. Uh, what do you understand by the concept feminism? Um, feminism for me, it's it's like um, okay, I was actually talking to someone earlier, and then it's like knowing your purpose. Feminism, it's like uh, that's uh, what's it called, gender. Yes. So I'm a female. Yes. God created me as a female. Yeah. And um, a female because I have the extra capacity in me to carry I have an extra one with me to carry a baby to carry someone's baby carry mm -hmm. my own baby so that makes me a woman okay. it makes me a girl child okay from a girl child now it makes me a, a lady it makes me a woman that's mm -hmm. when I'm married and then it makes me a mother when I start when I start giving birth and when my children start giving birth it makes me a grandmother so that's what I mean that's what my, my own way of feminism like it's my agenda I'm a female yes. like my purpose on earth is to make impact to females and you could also be male too you get but it's not i'm not in competition with the male gender but i am myself yeah. because i am female and i'm proud to be a female do you yeah. think that there are some things that uh, women should do and men should not do no i'm not i'm not being a feminist it's not attached to being saying i'm on them um, like okay like I'm not competing with a man. Okay. Like I say to myself, I'm not in any competition with anybody. I'm the person I'm competing is with is myself. Okay. So the thing is, um, being a female, like I'm a female child, I'm a female daughter. I have siblings. I'm the first of my parents. I have younger ones. Now there's some things at home that my brothers can help me do. There's okay. some things that I would even want to do as a female. They'll be like, no, no. Since I got this, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. That I don't want to to deal with most. So I'll take so that I can get money from your bank. Yeah. So the thing is. Because they realize that me being their elder sister, I'm not competing with them. Okay. And then because I'm their elder sister, doesn't mean I should bully them. So I make them like I make them know their place too as a mother. Sometimes we go out, and then maybe I I want them to accompany me to a place, and it's my money. How to give it to them? Okay, please hold this money. Mm. So if you don't want to pay for whatever it is, I'll be getting. It is not because I can't show off and say okay, yes, because if they are my younger ones, I could actually say let me. No, but it is a month nature like that's who they have so it is not for me feminism i'm not competing with them right. i'm not competing with a man because there's some things a man can do i cannot do no competition yes with no man. competition because right. a man cannot carry baby you know a man doesn't have a womb yeah but i have womb okay so there's some things so it's not a competition. so you think the fact that you can carry a child makes you uh somewhat superior to the man no okay no 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 you know, everybody, for my, my own sake, is everybody's unique in their own way. All right. Yeah, because I'm going to use God because of, obviously we all believe in God and yeah. God created everything and everyone on earth. So the thing is, my own take, you know, we all have our purpose. I didn't choose to come as a female child. Mm -hmm. I didn't choose to come, yeah, I didn't, I didn't choose to come as a female child. So my purpose as a female, now it is... God created me as a female for a purpose. Now he created man too. Man for a purpose. Yeah. At least um, the Bible says and in Quran also, I think they, they actually correlate and all of that, that the beginning was the world and then God created man in his own image. And then he said a man needs and help me that a woman should come in. Now okay, like for me saying I'm a, I'm a feminist now. Actually yes, I'm not married, but then I am not in competition with any man with so anybody out You there. think feminism, feminism is about uh, uh, women competing mm -hmm. of uh, supremacy no, or, you know, the, 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 the male in Nigeria, gender. In Nigeria, we tend to, when we hear things, when we hear words, instead of going deep to get to know what exactly does this thing mean, yeah. we just feel, oh, yes, I'm a feminist. No, I'm a feminist. You are not a feminist. I am not a feminist to be in competition. Okay. I'm not a feminist because I am superior to anybody. Yeah. I'm a feminist because of the gender, like, of who so I am. I agree. It is really. just your yes, gender that yes, makes you yes, a feminist. Yes, it makes me a feminist. Aye. And then it's not like, it's not, it's not, um, okay, there are some women, uh, Michelle, Michelle Obama, yeah. she's a feminist. Yeah. She's actually married. She's happily married and obviously, so that means being a feminist is not about competition. It yeah. is Nigerian that we tend to tend we over. We don't we don't get to know the source 
or where the God comes out from. Yeah. Because we can be feminist, okay, so what a man can do, a woman can do better. No, because you're not competing. There's some things a man can do that you as a female can cannot not do it. Do. Can exactly. never do it. And some things a woman can do too that a man too cannot do. Let's come to let's come to them. Uh, then you said uh, clearly that you are not a feminist. Um, what do you understand by that term feminist feminism? Because I think that that is where a whole lot of people miss it because not understanding what it is even to be a feminist gets a whole lot of people confused and uh, they just jump into it because it feels like it's a trend, you know, so it's about, uh, you know, trying to compete with, yeah. you know, some men. So what do you understand by the term feminism? Okay, um, thank you for having me here. Uh, I think she has actually kind of spoken on the two sides. Yeah. Based on, I agree with her on what a feminist is. Okay. But coming down to Nigeria, Nigerians, Nigerian ladies okay. have now given a different meaning to feminism. Okay. Which she also mentioned. It's now a competition, mm. a bloody competition, I would say, <laughs> against men. Yes. I, I, I feel they've now taken feminism to a point whereby a feminist can't get married. Oh. Because there's this point of, you know, when you're, when you're married, mm -hmm. there's a part where you have to be submissive to your husband. Yeah. Now, a feminist feels, a Nigerian feminist, yeah. let me use it that way, feels, what would like to submit to a man? We are supposed to be on the same level. He's supposed to be the head. In fact, if they have it off, like sharing the head into two, yeah. because he's supposed to be the head. But they feel, I'm also supposed to be the head. So they're like, sharing the head. He's the head, I'm the head. Mm -hmm. So they have that issue of, I can't be under a man. We have to be on the same level, yeah. and which is not possible. So most times, at the end of the day, they don't get married at all. Ah, okay. So why I said I'm not a feminist was because I just feel um, here in Nigeria, this program is Nigerian, yeah. And then um, at some point, I'm, I'm just speaking based on our Nigerian definition. Okay. But one wants to look at the real meaning of feminism. She has said it all. I'm a female. I am actually a feminist. Do you I'm think, okay, do you think um, there is a, a different, uh, you know, meaning between feminism and equality? Because you find out that what a lot of women are dragging is being equal to men. But equality based on the fact that, you know, we're all human beings. What's good for the goose is good for the gender. You know, when women talk about feminism, they just want to, you know, be placed on the same level with, level with men um if i'm in the kitchen you're supposed to be in the kitchen you if i'm taking care of a, a child we give birth to the child we take care of the child together yeah. we are supposed to you know be placed on the same pedestal because we are all human beings yeah. uh, wait at you know a certain level you might not see something wrong with that because we are all humans. So, uh, what would you say is the difference between feminism and equality? Um, okay. okay. Are you asking now? Yes, you I, I want to hear. Okay. okay, so I would say um, the whole issue for me, I would say the whole issue is from the fact, from the way African countries um, place a girl child. Okay. Now they feel um, we females, yeah. we the female gender, um, our place is just kitchen, yep. um, doing the house chores, basically we don't really, they just feel that we don't have, they just feel like we don't have dreams, we don't have, um, we don't have like a future, like mm -hmm. what we want to pursue as mm -hmm. well, you understand? And if you check back in those days, the parents don't see any need of taking their girl child to, to school, school yes. they only take their boys mm -hmm. and they leave the girls to exactly. have their mom with the kitchen, you understand? And then, you know, things are coming up. A lady said, understanding that, come on, we have more things. You see a lady that has, I, I believe everyone has a dream. Yeah. A, lady, a lady has a dream, but she feels, at the end of the day, I'm just to just game. I'm just to sit at home yeah. and wait for a man to come marry me. Yeah. And then I just do what he wants me to do. I give birth, take care of the children, take care of the home. Now, gender equality now brings it out to make people, make women understand that, okay, you could actually also be that wife and you could also pursue that dream. Yeah. Like she said, she spoke about purpose. We all have that purpose. purpose while we're here. Yeah. So because you're a woman doesn't mean you kill your purpose. Good. 
So because you are now a female doesn't mean you will now kill your purpose yes. for marriage sake. No. Mm -hmm. Equality now states that, okay, a man is pursuing his dream. I'm also pursuing my dreams. Although the workload is going to be heavy on us right now, because we also have to play our role yeah, as a absolutely. wife, as a mother, when you're, when you're married. You have yeah. to play your role as a wife, as a mother. But you also have to pursue your dream. Now, that's where the man has to also help him. That's why it's good to marry your friend. Yes. You know that, yes. So that he could also help him. You both of you pursue your dreams and you both happy. Not just the man, you know, doing his thing, yeah. being fulfilled. Why you're feeling at home, feeling you are, you're not really fulfilled. And then the resentment you. starts yes. building up because exactly. you feel like he's the only one who's doing his own thing and then you're not doing anything. Exactly. Yes. And then, like, like with the situation in the country right now, it's not favorable for just the man one to person. be working mm. and the lady to be there. Things are really getting hard. Yeah. And now women are going out to work. Women are going out to do so many things. Now, gender equality also comes in, in a situation whereby there are some certain things that are hard for men. Mm. They feel women are not supposed to eat your politics. Uh, although now women are stepping in. Do you, think, no. do you think, I have to cut you in there, do you think that politics is uh, something that is solely for men, it's not? Some people will say that it is a dirty game and uh, it's too dirty for a lot of women to dabble in. Do you think that uh, politics is something that is meant for men to go do and women should no. stay out of it? No. Um, when we say politics, yes. I, I love to break things down. Okay. When I want to break politics down, I break it down to leadership. Okay. First thing, first thing you ask yourself, can I lead? Do I have those leadership skills? If you can, why not? And if you know you have, yes, politics is a dirty game. Yeah. But you and I know that we have women that are even stronger emotionally and otherwise than some men. Uh -huh. So if it's a dirty game, we have women who can also survive there. Yeah. But the most important thing is, do you have that leadership skill? Once you can and you know what politics is all about uh -huh. and you can do it, go ahead. But now the problem is people now feel politics is just for men so they don't even care to know if the woman has those leadership skills they just feel the fact that she's a woman is a no uh -huh. which is very wrong uh -huh. yeah so that's where the gender equality comes, comes in, in. And so many other things uh -huh. yeah so that's the difference okay so, yeah. i have to ask you you know from what she just said about politics being uh, mm -hmm. some people thinking that politics is not for men and uh when we talk about some people we even believe that some women don't even think that a woman would lead now i don't know i don't know if you've experienced it sometimes even on the main road somebody's driving and maybe makes a mistake the next thing ah now woman mm -hmm. so a woman is uh, automatically looked at as somebody who is not capable who is not uh, strong enough or who is bound to make mistakes you know she's not looked at as as an individual as a human being who is uh capable of delivering on things so um it takes me back to that equality thing and feminism um when we talk about equality do you think do you think that women you know are equal to men when it comes to certain areas like work politics like she said uh, you know leadership qualities and uh you know in uh, in in certain areas like uh but mostly in politics and in work in workplaces do you think that you know women are equal with the men in those areas okay yeah for me right um there's this thing i say that um um equality yeah now equality from what she said, I'm going to coin out from what she said and I'm yeah. going to press my own words. For me, right, equality. Now, for a woman fighting for equality, you're saying, if you know who you are, if you know your purpose, yeah. if you gracefully accept who you are, you embrace yourself. But there are sometimes that, there's some people, even people, most people that say, okay, I'm a feminist, then I want equality and all of that. Like, the real people that, okay, someone like Michelle Obama now, she's not fighting anybody over anything. Yeah. Like, she's just a feminist as a feminist. She gracefully accepts who she is. And her husband, too, like, you know, they're not in competition with each other. They're working mm -hmm. hand in hand together. Because yeah. I can't, if I, if I want to shake you now, if I don't bring out my hands and say, I want to shake you, yes. it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't just come and say, hey, no, I have to. And you have to accept 
to say you want to put your hand. Yes. I'm going to help you say, okay, this is uh, this game we play, like you know, holding hands. So you have to, we have to come together as one to really do things if we really want to do things. So now equality for me, my own take is. And looking okay, first, I want to talk about power. You know, most of the, even some men, they don't, they have power, but they don't know how to handle it. And from I feel that power is is a thing, it's just like money. Because sometimes that men, so they have money that you realize, okay, man that you married as a female child, now you marry a man, he doesn't have anything. Then once he not has money, he just spends time misbehaving. You say when you want to know a man's true character is when he has money. Sorry that I deviated the people. Then like I'm um, bringing a point. So now the thing goes with power to that. Most of the time, we have power, but we let it get to our head. But Instead talk of about to, both men yes, and women. Yes, both men and women. Okay. Yes, so mo- most of the time, like, it, if a man, if you embrace who you are, like, if you appreciate who you are, even if you have that power, like, if, okay, now let me, let me, don't let me digress now. Power is a thing. Like, it's, it's like you have money. It's like you have a house, you're buying a house. So that's how power is. Like, it's for you to use. Now, it's not for you to misuse. Mm. It's not supposed to get to you. Like, it's not supposed to control. You are supposed to control the power. Mm. Now, when you control that power, you want to override your wife because you feel, okay, she's my helpmate. Mm. So even being a feminist, she's my helpmate, okay, there's some things I can actually still do for her. So if she wants to go, she wants to do politics or something, because you... No, you are not. A, she like you guys are not in competition, and she's not a threat to you. And she's not a threat. You are not a threat to her either, because she accepts who she is. She embraces herself, like she gracefully accepts who she is. The same thing goes for the man. So he gracefully accepts who he is. Mm. So now, if she's if um okay, let, let's say me, I love I love politics. Like my first um course in school is political science. Yeah. I love politics. So now for me, if I marry her, my husband is telling me no, don't go into politics. Like, I have to, okay, at first I'll be like, okay, you have to give me reasons why I shouldn't go into politics. But for me, I am not going into politics because I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'm going to be a threat to you. No, because I gracefully accept who I am as a woman, mm-hmm. as your wife, as a child, as a female daughter, and as a mother. Yeah. So because it doesn't make me forget my place yeah. as a female. It doesn't make me forget my place as a wife. So I... I know, okay, it's, it's just politics, like a profession. Mm. Okay, I want to be a teacher. Okay, now instead of being a teacher, babe, I want to be a politician. Mm. So I want to be a politician to set things right for you, to set things right for children, to set things right for another person's child, another woman's child. You know, because my own sake, I see a female like me as a sister to me. Mm. So that means I'm taking care of everybody's children outside. So not just my own child. I'm being, I'm, I'm going to impact the people generally. So not just you. And then you say your name, I'll still be. All right. So that's it. Okay. So our viewers don't go anywhere. This discussion will certainly continue, but we have to go on a short break. Stay with us. Hello there. Welcome back. This is Still Liberty this weekend, and I still have my amazing guest in the studio. We are talking about uh, equality, feminism, and I always like to point out equity. All right. So I still have... uh, Bumi and men in the studio. All right, uh, something uh, Bumi said that caught uh, you know my attention about Michelle Obama being a feminist. There are other feminists like uh, the one that a lot of Nigerians know. Um, talking about uh, Chimamanda Adichie. You know, when people want to insult what feminism really is, they always point to Chimamanda Adichie. I always, I also want to remind you that. Uh, Meghan Markle, that's Prince Harry's wife, okay. is also a feminist, but let's not go there. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, you say you believe in feminism yeah. and you believe in equality between yeah. men and women because yeah. you think that men and women are equal. Yeah. Nobody should be above each other. But when it comes to workplace, do you think that, you know, a woman deserves as much, you know, opportunity, as much, you know, Everything that a man does and, uh, the, you know, the same work level, should it be the same mm-hmm. for both men and women? Why not? If I can offer it, why not? Why can't I do it? Because um, for me, why not? If you tell me, can I, okay, like somewhere, let me use, um, I think where women are actually a CEO of the company, I think where women are actually a boss like and they're doing and well they, they do well mm-hmm. and they manage their home but there are some that 
might fail, but I don't want to digress to that part, yeah. you know, because it is your cap your capacity and character, so, yeah, your character, your capacity. Mm. So if my capacity can actually go, because some things that women can actually do that, you know, managing the home now, women can actually manage a home and can still manage business and can still manage money. Mm. I've heard some guys tell me that if that for for their money, their finances, that they would want their woman to manage their finance. Yeah. So my own take. It's we are we are the same thing, mm -hmm. you know. We are, we are the same thing. Actually, what a man can do. There are some things that even, even okay. There was this story about them. Um, so um, the, um, that was said about them um, carrying blocks, um, carrying ba bag of cement. yes, yes. Is, uh, okay, yeah, the bag of cement. There's some women that can actually do that. So there's nothing uh, like there's there's some women that can actually do that. Yeah. So for me, if I have the capacity to do it, why not? Why can't I do it? Okay, women should you know be equal. When it comes to the work level, the workplace. If she has the capacity to, to do it. deliver, why wouldn't I give her a shot? All right. Yes. Because all about what I have upstairs, what yeah. I have here. If I go for interview and then it's, I'm with a guy. And then I'm saying that you have <laughs> something to say. So I, I'm going to talk to you. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that there are things that men? can do that are not suitable for a woman to do okay um you know i love to take you back a bit okay yeah. um i feel okay my point starts from the part that the fact that um okay i'm a christian and i read bible my bible so um in genesis you see where the creation started yes and adam was created first now why was he created she came in as a helpmate all right what does it mean to be a helpmate help in the sense that there's someone doing the main job and the help me is to assist which equally means the main person is doing the main job and the lady is assisting okay good so now we the women are here as a helpmate which equally means we can't be the same level with the men we can't we can't why, why, why do you say that because you know the thing is what you're saying all right now you said that we can't be in the same level what if now okay let me say let's use the both of us now you work with mcn and i work with excel no, calm down. and they tell me, and they tell me to okay me. okay i i need to cut you on that mm. i need to cut you on that sorry i need to cut it because we don't mention you know mm. because, because you are advertising. we are advertising oh, okay, okay 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 so okay, i, okay. I hope in this place we'll be scrapped okay uh, so yes, okay so, okay let's say let's say you work oh. in a particular like we're copying okay, okay, wait, 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 and your hair is good. It's an instance where me as a female, I'm the one taking um, my salary is higher than the guy's salary. So because he's a man, because we are gender equality, I won't face my job. I won't work because I, it's not. I'm not just married to him alone. You know, I'm not just married. Like he, my purpose on earth, yeah. yes, is to be married, religious, wise, and then yeah. like the factor Nigerian African factor as mm -hmm. a woman, as a female child, you have to be married. You have to be under. But in as much as I am under him. He doesn't stop me from not pursuing my purpose, my goal. Now, from my career, I love to I love to sing. So you told me not to. No, you if I if you if it is my capacity, it's what I have upstairs here. So if it's a man, or if, if we go for interview or something, if it is a particular sport, maybe governor or whatever, and she can perform better, or I can perform better. I love politics. Why not? I'll go for it. You know, like and I'll deliver because it's what I have here, and then people will vote for. What I have to give to them. So it's all about what I have to give. Well, a lot of women don't vote. A lot of people don't actually vote because it's a woman who is contesting for that position because they believe a woman is not going to do well because it is a woman. Jeez. That yes, a lot of people have. Uh, uh, we have uh, um, uh, Sarah Jibril. I, I never forget that lady. She was uh, the first woman to contest for presidency yeah. in this country, yeah. and uh, she never got it, or she never even got to you know you know close because of the fact that she is a woman you know some people think that the the fact that somebody is a woman is already a defect it's already you know it's just no but for me if we I are both equal yeah. as a man as a woman we're both equal okay we're we equal okay can i say something yes. i was trying to say something earlier um the, when i say um we are not equal yes. i can say a woman cannot get to the highest point of of her career or wherever she wants to do. What I was trying to say, okay, you mentioned names like um a woman can get to the highest point of her career. But would the playing field be equal? Uh, well, 
I can't say for sure. Okay. Really do. All right. Yeah. But my, what I was, what the point I was trying to join. You mentioned names of women who have done so well from them for themselves. Yeah. Now these women are definitely married women. They definitely have a husband, and the angle I'm coming from is: Are they submissive to their husband at home? If they are not, they won't be. They would have probably separated or something. So they are still together. Good. Good. Which means what? Which means they still respect if they are submissive to their husband. Which means they have that knowledge in their head mm. that at some point he is above them. I don't know. I just feel but you know. You know. I you am not prime, against um, this women. Prime, 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 like I said earlier, yeah. prime minister. Um, I've forgotten her name. Uh, this UK prime minister. Yes. Uh, yeah. She's a female and she's a feminist. And so far, like I heard about her, she's a mother. She's um she's a mother and she's a wife. So she's married and I'm sure she's happily married. Yeah. So. That's why I say that equality, like it's for me, it's not, it's not equality in the sense. What, what my own take about equality, right? Mm. Now it is not like um, I will not respect a man, like being a man. But if I'm with a guy and he's probably he's not making sense, he's not making a point for me, or he's not delivering. Man, I'll look for someone else that will deliver. If I have a company now and then, I want to employ. If the, if it's a female that can deliver, I will employ the female. Okay. And I'll leave the guy. It's not, it is all about what he has to give me. What yes. he has here what she has here so if i check the both of them and i realize okay the lady will deliver better i don't have issues so in my own sense, that's what i'm saying that they are equal in the sense that what do you have to impact to me what do you have to give to what do i have to learn from you now uh -huh. you see the points bumi brought out she said respect now i feel if you don't believe you feel an iman at the same level there won't be that respect the yeah. same level in the sense of like career wise i want to change my top uh, uh, yeah, I, so I mean respecting if you we man. continue on this we <laughs> are never going to lose this studio today <laughs> and that has been an interesting conversation right here in the studio all okay. over to this weekend uh, thank you guys uh, for being a part of uh, today's edition of the program don't go anywhere we will come back and continue with the program thank you again for being part of the program yeah, thank you. and then thanks for coming <laughs> all right you guys uh, don't go anywhere liberty this weekend continues after this short break if you are just uh, joining us at this is your liberty this weekend and i'm sorry you have missed the most part of the program but hey there's still tomorrow brother and there's still some important parts that you haven't missed which is the health tips all right uh, Ever heard that uh, dancing is another way to keep you fit? Hmm. I know a lot of people do not like to work out. Well, those people include me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, some people are just lazy like that. But hey, you can dance. This is weekend. Put on your music. Dan dancing is very good for your body. It's good for your heart. Um, don't go and start doing the flip side and all those steps that you know. You know your age. Do the one that suits you. But dancing is very good for your heart, for your body, your metabolism and everything. It helps you to feel younger. It helps you to feel happier. And it helps you to feel good about yourself. So when when you are dancing, you are also doing another form of exercise. So put on this good music. If it's old school that you love dancing to, go ahead and dance your old school. If it is uh, the new Afrobeat, go ahead and do your Afrobeat. Whatever you do, just make sure that you move your body and let those blood circulate in your body and do your body good. Give your body that part brain that it needs. All right, guys, uh, that. All the um, all of the things that we have for you on today's edition of Liberty this week, and I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you to all our viewers, uh, all the crew members, uh, and I want to say a special thank you to you who stick around with us and watch us every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will come your way again tomorrow for another interesting edition of Liberty this weekend. My name remains Noella Paulson. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Nobody, my son, my mom is there, my son, my dad is there, my son, is there, shout out to the mix.
labaru da dimdin mun su in ga tattara hotanni bincike mai zurfi sharhi mai gamsarwa tsage gaskiya dalla dalla libati tv tashar enki